Well, you were right, again. A side trip to Chicago is exactly what I needed. Traveling during the holidays is such an ordeal, but seeing you always makes me feel so much better. <laughs> yes. Well, I think that maybe... Oh, um, I have to go. I'll, I'll talk soon. What are you doing here? Uh, I just came to apologize. Well, it was so... And the sudden urge to apologize stems from the way we left things in Manhattan. Uh, well, I kind of left you hanging. Oh, well, duty called. Hey, no one else understands better how business can wreck a getaway. So, yeah, that's true. Did you just come back? I did. I, uh, I have to prep a photo shoot. I just flew, flew in and came straight from the airport. When? I'm sorry? Well... I, did, I called the, the hotel at Christmas because I wanted to see if you wanted to go out to dinner and to make up for what happened. They said you checked out. Yeah, something came up. So, so the photo shoot, are you, is it going to take all night? Or? Well, you never can tell, can you? Well, I was thinking if you wanted to come by my house afterwards. Uh, well, here's the thing. Santa Claus, right? <laughs> He left two presents under the tree, and I think he mixed up the houses. <laughs> Sonny, you do not have to do that. The trip was more than enough. How come you seem a little distant, man? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just in my work mode, you can know. You just, can we, can you give me a couple seconds? I'm sorry, I'm listening. <sighs> okay, uh, when we were in Manhattan, I told you that things were different, right? And they, they are. I mean, you know, things have shifted. We, we, we're not playing any more games. We're not testing the waters. I agree. And I want that momentum to keep going, and I'm going to do whatever I can on my part to make sure that happens. No matter how hard it is, I'm going to try to be more open with you. More? Okay, open. <laughs> That's very commendable, Sonny. Thank you. I wonder about the timing, though. Well, look, we had fun. A lot of fun. Right? And I felt like there was hope. Okay? And... I'm not done... working on myself, and, you know... But I know that I can't fix it alone, so... I think you came back into my life to kind of, like, patch up the past. Now I need you in the present. And I need you now if we're going to have a future together. You know Michael's girlfriend, right? Yeah, Abby, sure. She, she was killed. What? Accident. Yeah, a construction site in Chicago. Any chance it was business related? I wish it was. Because that way I could I could relate to it and I'd be able to, you know, help Michael. An eye for an eye. Sometimes when you experience that kind of pain, you want the person responsible to feel that kind of pain too. But in this situation, in Abby's situation, it was random. So there's no rivals, there's no message to send, nothing to make you feel better. And that's all that matters with your kids, is making them feel better. I'm not the person to be talking to about this. I'm childless and all. You, you did get me to stare down my demons, so I was thinking that you know, helping me fix this with Michael would, would be easy. You can't fix it, Sonny. Michael's gonna hurt in some way for the rest of his life can't do anything about it. You don't get over losing someone you love. Especially your first. I guess you gotta get back to work, right? I'm very sorry. I don't think I've been very helpful. 
No, you've been great. Hey, you know what? You do what you always do. You just listen to me, and that's a lot. So, offer's still open if you want to come by after you get off. We just hang out. Um, I'm just here to congratulate you on your on your wedding. You got married? Yeah, Christmas Eve. Can I have a second with my son? Uh, detective? No, give us a minute. Okay, no problem. Look, it doesn't do me any good with my fellow officers when you show up looking to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Well, the last thing I want to do is piss you off. I'm just here to say that I'm happy for you, and it's a great thing that you got married. Thank you. I appreciate the congratulations. I just, you know, it was bad timing. Maybe you can come by at my office. We could talk, like, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Let's, we'll see. Well, you get some time off. I mean, there's nothing wrong with coming to visit your father, right? What did you come here for? What's so important? I need your help. And what I need you to do is reach out to Michael. Why? What's wrong? He arranged Abby to go to Chicago on some EOQ business, right? To protect her from some guy who's, I guess he's beating up on strippers. I don't yeah, know yeah, about that's that. good. Right. Smart. Well, it didn't work out too well because uh, Abby died. What? R what happened? Random construction, you know, accident, wrong place at the wrong time. Oh. Well, Michael must be devastated he's, right he's, now. He's, he, he, if you saw him, you, he, he's blaming himself, you know, because he feels he could have done something sure. to prevent that from happening. And okay, well, I'll, I'll talk to him. I can give him some event to, but I, I mean, professionally, I don't know. If it was an accident, there's not a hell of a lot I can do. Yeah, well, there is something you can do. You can catch the bastard who Michael was protecting Abby from and before he hurts any more of her friends. It's me. I might need you to keep me from making a huge mistake. <sighs> when can I see you again?